good morning, everyone, and welcome to SNN. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2017. It is a hawk day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. Our hawk day picture is from PBL student Addie Young. Thanks for thinking of SNN and making a picture for our hawk day, Addie. She was born on this day in 2015, and today she's three. Who are you talking about? How can you not know about this? I don't know. Who? She's British royalty. We're Americans. Still, she's adorable. With a great, uh, what do you, what do you say? Lineage. Call. She, she's a royal, that's for sure. Call ancestry.com and tell me who you're talking about. Princess Charlotte. Oh. Charlotte's toy box already contains gifts from a king, two queens, four presidents, and three prime ministers, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> so if the past year is anything to go by, Princess Charlotte will need an extra bedroom for all of her presents when she celebrates her birthday. Not a problem many of us can relate to. Someone else has a birthday today, and we think of him as Charlotte's opposite. So an American male, well, here he is. So Ce celebrities in America are like royalty, so he's also royalty. A few more clues. Since today is his birthday too. He's big and tall, coming in at six foot five inches. He's very strong. And he was a tooth fairy. We want his nickname and name. Call 78293 with your answer ready. Go. Go. On the radar, Smarter Balance continues today and all week. It's Tuesday, so there's chess in the LMC at all three lunches. LMC is open for chess only. T Today, there is a track meet at Covington. Good luck, everyone. Tomorrow, random acts of kindness meeting after school. Also, Skyhawks first, groups B and D meet during flex with Mrs. Gillespie. And later that evening, the incoming sixth grade parent night is from 6 to 7. Thursday is the Twilight track meet at Doc Harry Stadium at 5.30. And Friday, Prune Hill fifth graders are here from 9.30 to 10.30. Plus, there's a sixth grade mentoring at 2.15. A high score football game can be very offensive. Great, another football, a uh, punt. It's not football season. But we have football news for the next season. If you're a seventh grader interested in playing eighth grade football for Skyridge next year, you're required to attend lunchtime, a lunchtime meeting at, on Thursday, May 4th in the Skyridge LMC. During seventh grade lunch. Bring your lunch and yourself to the Skyridge LMC. Coming up, May 19th and 20th, is Susical. If you're in Susical, join in. A five, six, seven, eight. Oh, the things you can think. Any thinker who thinks can come up with a few. Oh, the things you can think. And scene. Good job, everyone. You will not want to miss this. Susical tickets are ready. You can purchase online and avoid the lines. Coming up May 19th and 20th is our very own Skyridge mus Musical Susical. We can't wait to see you there. Foodie Spotlight shines on none other than chocolate truffles today. Delicious news for those of us with a sweet tooth. The first recipes for chocolate truffles appeared in the 1920s. Today, there are three main types, American, European, and Swiss. Each type of a truffle has a slightly different twist. But they all include a creamy ganache filling and a topping like cocoa, coconut, or drizzled chocolate. Truffle chocolate and truffle fungus don't seem like they should be in the same sentence. The chocolate ones are named after truffle fungus because, well, look, they look similar. The chef, Auguste Escoffier, back in the 1920s, had an apprentice who tried to make a pastry cream, but accidentally poured hot cream into a bowl of chocolate chunks instead of the bowl of sugared eggs. So you're saying the chocolate truffle was a sort of an accident? Exactly. When chocolate and cream mixture hardened, Escoffier found that he could, from, could form a lopsided ball with his hands. So that's what he did? Yeah, he experimented with it and rolled his creation in cocoa powder and was surprised with how it looked like real truffles from France and Italy. Pretty cool. And the taste confirmed it was an instant success. What a great mistake. Last call for the CHS Dance Workshop. And Dance Camp. Which is coming up May 5th and 6th. This Friday and Saturday. You must complete the medical release form. Get the details in the main office. Exploratory Flex starts on May 15th. You can review the courses offered with the link Mr. Williams sent to all the teachers. Then you'll start registration on today, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. This is all going to happen with a form in Google. The goal is to have us all registered by the end of the day on Thursday. 
two, two four, four, six, eight. eight. What, what do we appreciate? Math. On Saturday, April 29th, 18 Skyridge students from 6th through 8th grade competed in our state math Olympiad competition. The students worked in teams through a complex problem solving test and five short answer tests. Skyridge 6th grade teams were awarded two medals and a ribbon and 8th grade teams were also awarded two medals. Medals indicate a nearly perfect score which is extremely difficult to attain. We are so proud of our Skyridge Math Olympiad competitors. Way, Way to go. go! So who's Princess Ch Charlotte's approximate opposite? The Rock. Mark, you have to say it like this, The Rock. Coming in at 6 foot 5 and 260 pounds, this man is a rock. His birth name is Dwayne Douglas Johnson. The Rock has become a very common name in the entertainment world. Forbes magazine calls him the hardest working man in show business. Good job to Blanchard's class. A treat and fake cash will be delivered to you after the show. That is the news for Skyridge Middle School. Where you can believe in yourself. Be you. Today's thought, be humble. Be hungry. And always be the hardest worker in the room. Have a terrific, tu have a terrific Tuesday, Skyhawks. Wondering what we're going to focus our SNN attention on this month? Tomorrow we'll tell you. And start our new awareness campaign. Until then, remember to follow the code, the Sky Code. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and be kind. This has been Lindsay and Mark. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. begin.